Hi, everyone here with CFS Agronomy. It's July 21st. Uh, we're going through a lot of hot weather. It's obviously been very dry. I uh, just wanted to go through some of the things we're seeing in the field and what I'm noticing. So we'll start out on a soybean. So got a pretty darn good looking soybean crop. We do have a lot of brown spot. Um, I don't know if you've noticed yellowing beans from the road, but you get out in them and that brown spot's moving up through the canopy. Easy fix, help with that is a fungicide application to help get that, keep those upper leaves healthy. And as we keep growing throughout the season, uh, we'll just keep those uh, keep those beans healthier. As far as uh, insect pressure, starting to see some aphids, some spider mites, a uh, lot of uh, Japanese beetles in some of these fields, especially by towns. Uh, overall, uh, pretty good on, on that aspect. Uh, not a lot of insects, but we're definitely going to keep a close eye on it. One of the major things I've been seeing in soybeans is some yellowing areas. If you really go through it and look at the diagnostics, look at the soil test, some of the tissue tests, we're short on potash in some areas. And I harp on potash a lot of times in the videos. So be conscious of that when you're looking at your fields. If you're seeing something, give us a call. It's a really good way to diagnose and see what's going on so we can address it in the future. As far as corn, um, we got a lot of uh, nice looking fields. We got some tougher fields too. Uh, we really struggled early with the emergence on some of these hybrids and it's showing up. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the corn. Uh, we obviously need rain. We've been doing a tremendous amount of fungicide on the corn. With $5 corn, it sure helps pencil out the fungicide application. Micros, been adding a lot of boron, which helps with fill those ears. I am super concerned with uh, with kernel fill because when we were in the grand growth stage when the corn was really growing we had a lot of dry weather didn't take up a lot of nutrients or what we needed to and we didn't have enough lateral root growth in my mind so this crop's gonna have to take up nutrients all all season long so we need rain rain's a key um, through all this so hopefully we do pick up some in the next next 10 days or so um, It'd be encouraging on the corn too to be looking at these areas we're going to do a lot of uh different queries this winter through central advantage and uh see see what we found out um just hoping that the rest of the season goes well we're definitely far advanced with the crop we got a lot of heat units so far so anything you're seeing in these fields give us a holler um oh another thing i wanted to mention a lot of rootworm beetles in these fields especially the corn on corn. So if we're doing a fungicide application, it's a lot of times you need to throw an insecticide in to take care of those. So been also finding a lot of root feeding on some of these hybrids and varieties too. So give us a call, anything going on. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.